In the 1990s, two strange creatures appeared on a surveillance camera in Fresno, California. These creatures have come to be known as the Fresno Nightcrawlers, and they have been featured on a few different paranormal and UFO shows. The Nightcrawlers are very short creatures, only about 4 feet tall, with most of their height being made up of their legs, as they possess an extremely small upper body. A larger specimen appears to have webbing connected from each knee to the torso. The cryptids appear to have very short, thin, and stilt-like feet. Something that I found very interesting is that there is another creature that has been seen not too far away called the Carmel Area Creature that almost matches the exact description of the Nightcrawlers. The Carmel Area Creature is tall and gray with presumably no arms and long muscular legs. It is bipedal and walks in an odd manner with its backwards bending knees. Nightcrawlers have been on a few television shows as stated earlier, including Factor Fate Paranormal Files, where the team was unable to find an explanation for the creatures. Here's an account of the Carmel Area creature from an ex-marine who was with his wife one day. We recently bought a place in the Fort Hill area in Southeast Highland County. We first noticed after about 30 days of living there that we suddenly had a, a perfect circle that stays fresh green no matter what the weather is in our front yard. On Friday night, which was the 12th, we were driving home, and after turning on Carmel Road, which leads to our road, we went around the curve by the Carmel Church, and then up a small incline, and approximately 10 feet over the incline, and in front of our truck, this alien ran across the road and into the woods. Something I would like to point out about this account is that the creature they allegedly saw was about 7 feet tall. Now most people agree that the creatures are both hoaxes, that seems to be the general consensus in the cryptic community, the UFO community, and the paranormal community, and that the sightings were made up by various people and that the well-known footage of the nightcrawlers was an elaborate hoax. As for whether or not this is true, we may never know. There have been sightings of this creature in different parts of the world, such as Poland, a few sightings there, including one alleged photograph slash video of the creatures which has also come under scrutiny. So what do you think about the Fresno Nightcrawlers and the Carmel Area Creature? To my knowledge, the sightings in the 90s and then the sightings of the Carmel Area Creature and then the few sightings in Poland are the only ones I could find on both these creatures. Although it was stated that the last official sighting of the Fresno Nightcrawlers was in 2017, not in Fresno, but in a place called Yosemite. But I couldn't find any more information about that. So thank you all for watching this video. Hope you all have a great day. The Beast of Busco is an enormous snapping turtle which citizens claim to have seen in 1949 near Cherubusco, Indiana. The first sighting of the creature was in 1898 when a farmer supposedly saw a giant turtle living in the seven acre lake on his farm near Cherubusco. He told others about it but eventually he decided to leave the creature alone. Fifty years later, in July of 1948, two Cherubusco citizens, Ora Blue and Charlie Wilson, also reported seeing a huge turtle, which they approximated weighed about 500 pounds, while fishing on the same lake, which had kind of been known at this point as Folk Lake. A farmer named Gail Harris owned the land at the time, and Harris and others also reported seeing the creature. Word spread and many expeditions were held to try and get the big beast out of the lake, including draining and motorboating the lake. Not much else is known about the beast of Busco. Some say it is just hibernating and waiting for food to come to it. Some say the beast never existed and it was just Oscar's way of making the sleepy town feel alive. If it was a 50 minute slumber in 1998, there were no sightings of the creature. So whether or not the beast of Busco really existed, once again, we may never know.